Hello, smart leaders. Back with another video. My name's Harry, and I'm the CEO and founder of a company called Acquired. We do B2B lead gen specializing in the recruitment space. But anyway, today's video is how we automate almost a million emails every single month with Smart Lead. Right, we're gonna go over everything on the infrastructure we use, how to set this up, and best practices to actually build the lists and write the copy. So stay all the way to the end, because we're gonna cover this all. Right, but the first question you're probably asking is, why on earth would you need to send almost a million emails every single month, right? To break this down simply, in the world of outbound prospecting, you probably know, if you're watching this video, that volume is key, especially if you're in tough markets or you're actually an agency that runs outbound for other companies, right? So you need tools, that will allow you to send high volumes of emails efficiently and consistently, right? I just plotted some metrics here. This is typically what we wanna be getting right across our clients, across everyone, 50 positive replies every single day. You don't need crazy metrics to do that, but if we work it back, we get about 1,500 positive replies monthly with a 10% positive reply rate and a 2% reply rate, right? So we work back the numbers, that's how many emails we need to send to get the numbers that we want, okay? so. Sending this volume is usually comprised of three core parts. We need a really good email infrastructure that will actually withstand and uphold this level of volume that we need to do. We need to include some smart lead automation there because it's not gonna be fun setting all these accounts up uh, by yourself. And then we need the correct setup so that email accounts we've got hooked up are actually sending properly, we're getting good volume out there and we're adhering to all the best practices so we're staying far away from the dreaded spam folder, okay? so. Getting into email infrastructure, in my opinion, there's way too many options out there in the market. And I believe the majority are actually shiny objects. So we stick with the classics, Outlook and Google, split them 50-50 to spread risk. So say, for example, you want to send maybe 5,000 uh, emails a month, right? Say, for example, that's about 250 emails a day, roughly, right? And you've got accounts sending at 20 emails per day. Maybe you need 25 accounts there. And say, for example, you've got email accounts that are sending about 20 emails per day, you probably need around 13 email accounts to be able to do that. So what I'd do if you want 13 email accounts is split it 50-50. I'd probably create uh, seven domains and have two email accounts for each, four domains on Google, three domains on Outlook, for example. Just have it completely spread, spread just have it spread 50-50, right? So if your Outlook ones aren't performing, then hopefully your Google can carry, etc. But what we usually do is we have a formula. If you need to do a certain volume, right, at least get, if you need to do a certain volume, at least get 20 to 30% more accounts than you actually need to account for emails going bad, probably running into issues, that sort of thing. So if you actually need seven domains, I'd usually get 10. If you need 10, you usually get 13 or 14 just to keep your account safe, right? Because you never know, it will happen in this day and age where your email accounts go bad and they go down and you don't wanna be running into that issue, especially if you're providing solutions for clients, right? So stick to Outlook, stick to Google. There's of course a lot of third party providers or resellers out there. We've never had the best uh, results with those. So of course, uh, there's a lot of third party providers and resellers and things like that out there if you want to really, really reduce costs. But of course, you pay for what you get, right? If you want slightly higher quality, more reliability, then I would always recommend Outlook and Google. If you do want your accounts to maybe be short lived or just, you know, work for a month or two, then maybe use a third party provider. But it's not always recommended. Um, yes, of course. However, yes, of course, these will take longer than third party provider accounts to set up because you won't have all of the automation running in the back end that the reseller is doing for you to create the DNS and get everything hooked up. So you either need to create these automations yourself or get a virtual assistant or someone on the team to do this for you, okay? But it's really important that you do manage this if you're running an agency because quality assurance is gonna be key. If you're, if you're leaving all of your if you're leaving everything with a third party reseller or a third party provider, then all of the risk is is there, right? And if you're running an agency, that's typically not advised because they hold all the power, they hold all the keys. And if something goes wrong, you won't be able to step in and fix it. So it's better for you to own your accounts, you to own your domains and set everything up yourself, although it takes slightly longer. The way we actually create all of our accounts is through RDS or remote desktop servers. This means that we basically have different IPs every time we create new accounts on email and it just looks more realistic and human-like, right? Than if we set every account up under the same IP address, etc. Then 
if you have a problem with one IP address, maybe all of your accounts will go down and it's just a huge risk again. Like I say, with this level of volume, the whole thing is around reducing risk because you will run into issues with cold email, that's a given, where, however, if you reduce risk, you're less likely to have clients go down, you're less likely to run into issues, this sort of thing. So slightly more expensive and it's slightly slower, but it's all about risk reduction at this sort of volume, right? And Smartly really helps with that. So the other thing we do is we actually use uh, something we actually use a software called Air Wallets, and what this does is it creates new cards, like new credit cards, virtual ones, that we can host all of the admin accounts on. So basically, if one admin account gets shut down for, say, we're doing too much volume, and that card is related to it, it could affect the other accounts as well. So once again, risk reduction. The infrastructure we use is using virtual cards for each of the accounts, so we keep it separate, and we stop them basically getting shut down, okay? Now that's pretty much what we do for email infrastructure. Super basic. Sorry, there's not any you know magic revelation there with a new third party provider to use. Email, Outlook, and Google will always be the best ones to use long term. So stick with those. Now hooking your accounts up to Smart Lead. Once you've created all those accounts or your team has, there's no point going into Smart Lead and hooking them up one by one. I'm going to show you exactly why not because it will take way way too long. So what you can do. Instead of hooking them up one by one, what you're gonna to want to do is basically add accounts in the CSV, right? So we've got the option here, is you can drag and drop a CSV file of all your accounts. So you'll need to basically fill in the template that Smart Leads can provide. You'll put in your email, your password, um, the IMAP, and all these other different basically variables that you'll have access to. And you can upload the CSV so it connects all of your accounts at once, which will save you tons and tons of time, all right? Now, once you've got those email accounts actually hooked up to your smart lead account and they're ready to go, you need to ensure that you've got the correct setup because if you don't have this, everything else will go wrong, okay? So the way we do it is we only send a maximum of 20 emails per day per inbox. If you do more than this, it's very likely you'll get put into spam and you'll run into issues, you'll burn your domains and you'll just need to constantly create new accounts, new domains, which can get very, very, very expensive. So we want to try and maximize longevity of these accounts as much as you can. And the way that we do that is by only sending a maximum of 20 em emails per day per inbox. Okay, so if you have 100 inboxes, then you can send 2,000 emails. If you've got 10, you can send 200 emails. But yeah, we basically just wanna send a maximum of 20 emails per day per inbox. All right, and the other thing is, is I've seen this with some campaigns, run into issues. If you don't have sufficient time delay in between sending emails, then your, the systems can flag that as well. So just ensure in the smart lead settings as you run the campaign, you've got sufficient time delay in between your emails being sent out, right? Now, once you've got everything set up, you've created your email infrastructure using Outlook or Google or split it 50-50, and you've hooked up your accounts to smart lead, then it's time to finalize this, right? And how you do that is by building a great list and having a high converting script to use. So to build a great lead list, what we actually do is use clay.com, right? Clay allows us to build hyper-targeted lists with the use of AI. And the best bit about clay is that it's so efficient. You don't need to export a CSV and then go into smart lead and upload it. You can literally just push your, uh, you can literally just push your data from clay directly to smart lead without having to export anything. So it just increases efficiency massively. It reduces time and all of the other benefits, right? So I'd recommend Clay. You can also use the likes of Apollo uh, and, and Scrape LinkedIn and things like that. But if you're gonna use Clay, it's the most streamlined, effective way to do it, okay? Now, once you have the lead list inside of Smart Lead and you've got everything ready to go, all you need is that high converting script. Now, if you watch the last video that I put on this channel on Smart Lead, you can see how I build a great cold email script that allows me to book a lot of calls every single month. Um, and get you good high conversion rates, right? So those are the last two things that you need to do once you've got everything set up. But that's effectively how I use Smartly.ai to automate almost a million emails sent every single month and get great positive replies and book tons of calls through it. So have a look through these things, create your own email infrastructure, set things up using the Smartly automations and get all of the right setup created. Smart Lead makes it super, super, super easy for you to do this. You can literally just go into the setup tab in the campaign and choose your and choose your settings like this, right? So if I go into the email campaign here, for example, 
And all I need to do is go to setup and you can see we've got all of this. So we can hook up our sending uh, campaigns. We can hook, so you can see we've got this in the setup section. You can hook up all the accounts you've created and connected to SmartLead. You can schedule your campaign with a specific time zone and put in the time delay. You can say how many emails you want to send out per day as well. And then you've got some campaign settings as well, such as not tracking email opens, not tracking links, which we actually don't do by the way. So I would tick both of these. I'd also uh, send your messages or emails just as um, plain text without HTML. That will help as well. I typically wouldn't do 100% follow-ups. I would usually do about 70% new leads, 30% follow-ups. New leads are gonna provide better results and finish off these, right? So I'd then save this, connect the accounts, and get everything ready to go. And then all it will be is uploading that lead list, having sh making sure that script is in there and monitoring the data to see we're getting the right sort of metrics, we're getting good reply rate. If we're not getting good reply rate, then usually either copy or the email accounts themselves are an issue. Um, if you are getting good reply rate, but not positive reply rate, then it's definitely just the copy that's an issue. And then if you're not getting enough booked calls from your positive replies, then it's more the setting process that's the issue. But anyway, I'm sure that'll be a topic for another video. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. I 100% recommend using SmartLead to automate uh, your emails, especially if you're sending thousands every single month. And I'm sure I'll see you in the next one. So thanks for your time.